I'm just going to be doing a pretty simple tower defense just to kind of show people the kind of thinking that you go through to do it. Um, most of the time we'll probably be going through the data editor because even no matter how many times I practice going through that thing, I always forget something or I have to go back. So, But anyways, the triggers should be pretty simple and the terrain will be pretty simple too. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new map. Uh, this is fine. Small size is good. And let's let it go. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just zoom out here and uh, go to the terrain layer. Make, uh, yeah, this is fine. Make a little cliff uh, or a man-made cliff. And I guess the plans, the plan for my simple tower defense here is going to be to just have it, uh, have it so you can build up on these cliffs and then shoot down at the uh, creeps that are going to be running around. Uh, I'll put a little middle, middle building area too, and connect them. And it's a pretty crappy job, but it should be fine for now. And I'm going to paint a bit of texture um, so to show that the creeps are going to be starting from here. And when they reach this point, it's game over. Um, so let's save this just to be safe. You always got to save because you get crashes all the time. Um, you can see my other simple tower maps there. Simple tower defense 1.0. That should be fine. Um, so next we got to... While we're here, we might as well add our regions uh, for the spawning of the creep units, the little walking units. So let's name this spawn region. Good. And create another one. And this will be, oops, this will be our end game region where, or end region where if the creeps reach this point, the game is over. And uh, if you want to get the camera, if it goes like this sometimes, if you want to get the camera back to uh, it's a re like a game camera, you just press down on the middle mouse and it'll get you back to normal. Um, and holding control and dragging right click will let you do this. So anyways, um, so we got that done. So let's, gonna, let's go to the data editor next so we have everything ready for the trigger editor later. Um, so open up the data editor. And the first thing we need to do is create our own builder. So I'm going to use the probe as a base because that's the kind of building you want to do is where your probe can just drop a building and run off. So we're going to duplicate the probe. Um, we want to duplicate the build. The things that we don't check are going to be linked, um, as it says. So our new probe is going to use the already the ability it called attack. If I check this, it's going to make another attack ability, which we don't want to do because we don't need to do that. But we do need to have our own version of build. Uh, we do need to have our own actor because you can't have two act. You can't have an actor having multiple units, so we need to have one actor for our custom probe. Uh, we don't want the effect because we're not going to have any damage. Um, or I mean, I'll delete it later. But I'm saying we don't want to create another one. We don't need to create any more of these. We don't need to create any more of those. So press OK. And OK, we have a probe copy. So first things first is we change the name to let's say. Builder, something basic for now. Um, supplies, well, I'm just going to make it zero so it doesn't take up any supplies. Um, speed, you want to enhance the speed just so you can, uh, or yeah, just so you can get it around faster. Uh, let's see, and radius, make them zero just so we can go through the buildings too. Be kind of annoying if you couldn't. Uh, get rid of the weapons, he's not going to be able to attack. And you can see the effect and the weapons left the list now, so that's good. Um, I'm too lazy to change all this stuff. It doesn't really matter for now, but if you're doing a full unfinished map, you'll want to change those to, to be built, to do a custom thing in, as builder. And this hasn't updated, and it'll only update if you click away and then come back, and now the name's updated, in case you're wondering. Um, and now abilities. So we don't want attack. We don't want gather, but we do want our build copy, which we'll rename in a second. Um, and under command card, which is the uh, these, this little thing in the bottom right of your in-game screen, we want to get rid of the gathering crap, um, the attack, and the advanced structure. But you can keep that if you're going to make a lot of towers, but we still need the basic structure. And of course, you can make a custom button in this data editor as well and change this, but warp and structure should be fine for us. And as you can see, warp and structure goes to command card 2. 
which is here. Now you can see all of the Protoss buildings, so we're going to get rid of them for now, um, since we don't want to be able to build any of these. Um, and you want to leave Cancel there. So OK. And you can see Cancel's ability, that's all it does. So we'll press OK. So that's all good. Now let's go to this custom build we made. Um, the build ability, I mean. Uh, let's rename it. Where's the name? Okay, let's get rid of the prefix, or let's change the prefix to builder. And, oh, there it goes. And let's change the name to build brackets builder. That's a lot of build in one sentence. Okay, so um, that's all we need to know for now. We're going to come back to this info thing later um, where you actually set up the buildings that are going to be built. Um, actors, we need to set this actor not the probe, it needs to be set to our new builder guy, so our builder has a model. Yeah, I think actors are sort of strange in that sense, but uh, I'm guessing if you're making like a full-on, full-fledged uh, RPG or something, that'll be useful. And let's change the name to builder, so now the corresponding name is proper. There's a lot of other fields in here that I should probably... Uh, oh, it's good. one thing that's good to check actually is the model. Because when you duplicate, sometimes it'll say probe 2, which this is all uh, wrong, and you'll get a blank unit. So you want to go up here and find probe model. Um, otherwise, you'll just have a blank guy. Uh, that's a lot of P's. Probe. Uh, I probably missed it. There we go. So probe. Um, I'm not sure about model builder, model uh, placement, but we'll leave those as unknown for now. Um, that should be good and let's oops, let's save just to be safe. Um, all these models can stay here. These units will disappear when we change the building stuff later. Um, so I think our probe is okay for now. Um, what we should do is make a custom tower, our first tower. Or actually, the, I'm only going to be doing one tower for this uh, first tutorial, so or possibly only tutorial, I'm not sure yet. but. Um, you, from doing this one tower, you can see how you would make others, and it shouldn't be too bad. So, uh, let's go to units. Let's search for photon cannon. I think it's a good base cannon to use as a tower. Um, let's duplicate the photon cannon. I'm in the units tab, by the way. Um, so we want to don't want to duplicate any of these abilities because they're already standard default. But we do need to duplicate all the actors. Uh, we do need to change the effects because we're going to do custom damage. And we do need to duplicate the turrets, units, and weapons. I'm not too sure about these two, but I do it anyway. Um, I'm still pretty, we're all, I think we're all pretty new to the data editor, so still learning. Um, so you can see my photon cannon here. I definitely need to rename that <coughs> as soon as possible to avoid confusion. So I'm just going to call it a basic cannon. Um, Get rid of the shields is the first thing to do because you want it to be you want it to die quickly so if if some unit gets blocked it'll just kill it and keep going and we'll give it 10 life and 10 starting amount for that life uh let's see i think the rest of this should be good um again this is the data editor so oh yeah so i think these are all good but uh behaviors, we want to get rid of power user and we want to get rid of detector. Um, I think power user means for pylon power and detector we don't need. Command card we can get rid of detector and I think that's good. You can change the description if you'd like but for now it's good enough for me. Um, the actors we do need to make instead of photon cannon we need to set it to our basic cannon 